So I will tell you about the Brooklyn School of Languages, um, an independent language school uh, located in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I will show you the presentation now and show you some pictures, tell you about the school, uh, the courses and accommodation. First of all, what you can see here, uh, the school, the picture at the bottom is actually the view from our school. So this is a big plus for our students because they really enjoy being able to see the view of Manhattan every day from the school. But I will come back to that um, in a minute. Um, first, I will tell you about the location. Um, so I don't know how many of you are familiar with New York, uh, but I will explain that when people think about New York, a lot of the time they think about Manhattan. But New York is also the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn and Staten Island. Most language schools are located in, in Manhattan and we are the only school located in Brooklyn. So we are really unique in that sense because we're the only school there. So you can see we are located at the end of the red arrow here uh, by the Borough Hall um, subway station. So it's very close to Manhattan. It's actually just one subway stop to get from the school to downtown Manhattan, about 10 minutes on the subway. And it's also possible to walk from the school to the Brooklyn Bridge and walk on the other side into Manhattan in about half an hour. So that's how close we are to, to Manhattan. Uh, there are five subway lines just outside the school and another two subway lines, a couple of minutes walk. So that's seven subway lines. So it's very easily accessible. Two things that are important to know about Brooklyn. Uh, first about the safety. Um, Brooklyn has changed a lot and it's very different from what it was maybe 20 years ago. Uh, people often ask about the safety and is it safe to visit Brooklyn? Uh, the answer is yes. It's uh, like I said, it's very different from uh, a couple of decades ago. Many people now uh, are actually moving out of Manhattan and into Brooklyn. It's very varied population. You have young professionals, families with kids, uh, young students. Um, so it's it's a very um, uh, it's a very popular neighborhood where it's much safer to live now. Also, what's important about Brooklyn is that it's very different from Manhattan in terms of the the way of life and in terms of uh, the pace of life. It's not as uh, busy and as crowded as Manhattan. So there's more space and the way of life is a little bit more laid back. So it's interesting for students who want to enjoy uh, New York City, but without all the stress that Manhattan can bring. I will show you a few pictures of um, Brooklyn if you're not familiar with it. So this is the typical architecture that you will see everywhere in Brooklyn. Uh, these are called the brownstone houses. Um, so it's very typical of everywhere around the school and in Brooklyn. And you can see Brooklyn Bridge Park as well in these top pictures. So this is about 10 minutes walk from school. And it's basically the riverfront uh, on the Brooklyn side overlooking Manhattan. So great views on the bridge and on downtown Manhattan as well. And you can see from uh, Prospect Park or some neighborhoods such as Fort Greene, um, that it's less crowded than Manhattan, as I was saying, uh, and just a bit more relaxed. So it's a very nice vibe and a very nice atmosphere. Um, our school, so you can see on the right here, this is the building of our school. We are located on the 34th floor, right at the top here. We've got the whole floor. And because we're so high up and so close to the river, that's why we've got those amazing views on the whole city. So we can see the bridges, the Empire State Building, the Freedom Tower, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, we can also see on the other side, the whole of Brooklyn. So we've got amazing views on, on the whole city from the school. If you look at the map here, uh, this is where the school is located. You can see the Brooklyn Bridge is a few minutes walk here. Um, and you can see the, all the different subway stations very close to school, very easily accessible. And all this area here on the left of the school going towards the river um, is a shopping district. It's called the Montague Street Shopping District. Um, it's a very lively area. It's famously known as the village in the city. So it's got that nice village vibe. And there are lots of shops, um, restaurants, coffee shops, delis, 
Um, so it's very easy for students um, to go out after the lessons and grab a coffee or grab lunch or even do some, some shopping before they go into Manhattan. Now, a few pictures of the school. Um, so the school is very different from other schools in Manhattan. Uh, first of all, because we are a small boutique school. Um, most of the schools in New York tend to be large schools with lots of, uh, of students, you know, several hundred students per week. For us, it's very different. We are a small school with six classrooms and we have a maximum capacity of 65 students per week. Uh, we opened six years ago um, and we have that um, personal attention that is very important to a small school. Everybody knows each other. Um, it's all open space, as you can see here. This is where the, the team sits. So it's uh, open space. So the team is very available. Uh, the students can speak to any member of staff at any time they want. Um, and all the staff knows all the students by their name. So it's uh, there's a very familiar atmosphere uh, with lots of personal attention for every student. A few more pictures. Uh, like I said, we have six classrooms with a maximum of 12 students per class for general English and usually six to eight students per class for business English. So small class sizes with plenty of um, talk time for everyone. And we have a graduation that we do every Friday um, where all the students get together. Uh, we give everybody free pastries and free donuts and everybody gets together. Uh, all the students who are leaving get the certificate and it's a nice moment for uh, everybody to enjoy each other's company before the students leave. Um, this is a nationality mix, so this is for last year, uh, as this year is not yet finished, but this year is following the same pattern. So as you can see, we've got uh, a very varied um, nationality mix. We have a lot of Western Europeans, so that is again very different from other schools in, in Manhattan who tend to have either a lot of Asian students or a lot of uh, Latin American students. For us, it's mostly Western Europe. Uh, and we also have some other nationalities that are starting to be uh, represented like Japan, uh, Brazil, and then Russia here is uh, only 4%. So it's very good for your students because um, they can be really in immersion in the language and not have too many students um, speaking their language as well. Um, now the age mix, that's another way in which we are very different from other schools because as you can see, the average age is 34 years old. Uh, so far this year, again, it's, it's the same. And it's the same uh, outside of the summer and in the summer. Uh, we don't have a younger age uh, in the summer. So we start at 18 years old. As you can see, we don't have too many very young students. We have people in their 20s and a lot of people in their 30s and, and more. So it's very in interesting for uh, these students that uh, have maybe um, more like a professional background, um, young graduates, that type of students um, we have a lot of at the school. But we also have 20 year olds, as you can see. So it's also a good school uh, for students who maybe are going away for the first time and are a little bit shy because we are a small school. So we can really look after everybody individually. Uh, in terms of our courses, so we are accredited by the CEA, um, which is one of the accrediting bodies uh, in the US uh, that accredits only English language schools. And we are also a member of the International Association of Language Centers, YAC. Uh, and we really represent what YAC is all about. So small schools, uh, quality courses and an emphasis on um, student, um, student care. In terms of our courses, so we have a standard um, course, which is 17 clock hours per week, which means it's available on a tourist visa. And then we have an intensive course, which is the academic course, um, available on an F1 student visa with 22.5 clock hours per week. So there are two main general English courses. 
And then we also have a business course. Uh, this is for students with a higher level of English. So the minimum level is upper intermediate. What's interesting with this course is that there is no general English. It's really entirely focused on business, which means that both morning and afternoon lessons are on business and in small classes of six to eight students. So it's a really focused course for um, your business clients. And then, of course, we have one-to-one uh, -one lessons, which can be taken uh, combined with a general course or um, as a standalone course. Um, the teaching team, that is something that has been praised by, uh, by the CA and by, and by YALC. Uh, we have a very strong teaching team with many teachers that have been with us um, uh, since the beginning, since we opened the school six years ago. Um, they are all experienced uh, native speakers and we do in-house teacher training workshops um, every month in order to always improve the level of the teaching and so that the, the teachers can uh, improve in terms of um, their teaching techniques. Um, in terms of accommodation, um, so we have several accommodation available, uh, accommodation options available at the school. We have homestay and we've got shared houses. In terms of the homestay, this is a very strong point of our school. Um, two very important points. The first one is that all the homestays are recruited by ourselves. It's actually the school director uh, who recruits all the, whole, uh, all the host families himself. So that means we really know the host families. We know where they live. We know the house, the family members. Uh, and it means we can really make uh, a good placement according to your student profile. So whether you have a young student that's never traveled abroad or uh, a more experienced traveler who um, often travels, then obviously it's not going to be the same uh, family according to that profile. So it makes a better guarantee of quality for you because we know exactly where we place our students. Also, the second important point is that we recruit all the host families only in Brooklyn. So it means that it's a shorter commute for the students compared to a student who's studying in Manhattan and has to travel every day to Manhattan from Brooklyn or Queens that could take like up to an hour but because our, all our homestays are in Brooklyn it's on average 30 minutes um, to school by subway so less transportation time every day. We have several options with the homestay. We can do bed and breakfast or half board. Um, so with some meals included, either breakfast or breakfast and dinner. Uh, this is the most popular option to share um, the way of life of the families there. But we also have another option, which is the room only option, which is an option that a lot of our students use, um, where you're still staying with uh, a local family, but you have full access to the kitchen facilities to cook your own meals. So it's more nearly like an Airbnb experience um, where you can come and go as you please. There is more independence um, and you are free to use all the facilities. So it's great for students who are maybe on a budget and don't want to eat out too much or students who have um, special diets and need to cook their own meals. In terms of the family profile, so you as an agent, um, this is what you will get when you book a host family with us. Um, so a couple of weeks before the student departure, you will receive a complete family profile with a picture of the, of the family, detailed information about who they are, their age, what they do. Um, a second page with detailed information about the location of the house how to get to school, which subway to take, where to stop, you know, how to find the subway station, etc. And then there is always a third page as well with um, details like pictures of the house so that the students know before they travel exactly what to expect. So we find that if the student is well prepared, um, then it's a great start to 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 the stay and there's usually less problems on arrival because they know what to expect. Um, then we have a shared student house, uh, which is a house only for our students, only for BSL students. It's located 25 minutes to school by subway. 
Um, and we have a couple of single rooms and a shared bedroom as well. So it's a small house. We can place four students maximum in there. Um, so it's better to book in advance whenever possible. And students have their own bedroom, of course, uh, and then they share the, uh, the different facilities with other students from the school. So this is like a school house. And we have another option, which is called co-living, uh, which is not shared just with BSL students, but can be with other international students from other schools in New York and also local people uh, who live and work in New York. So this option is getting more and more popular. We have several houses in Brooklyn, in different areas of Brooklyn. So it can be anything between 20 and 45 minutes to school by subway, depending on the location. All the houses are new. They've been uh, recently uh, refurbished. They're all fully furnished and decorated. So it's a very good standard of accommod accommodation. It's cleaned professionally once a week. Um, and there can be between six and 15 students uh, per house. But the bigger houses have several uh, kitchen and bathrooms. Um, so the students never have to wait too long to use a bathroom. And um, it's very comfortable in terms of, of the setup. So with this option, you just let us know that a student would like, um, for example, a single room in one of the houses. And we get back to you with a detailed fact file um, of the house that is available. So then your student, again, knows exactly in advance what the house is like, pictures, location, um, how to get to school, etc. So once again, they're, they're prepared before they leave. And they can make an informed decision before they book as well. So to give you an idea on the map, so this is the, the map of Brooklyn. The location of the school is here, uh, indicated with a B, so very close to, to Manhattan here, close to the bridge. The green circle is where we uh, have our host families. So you can see on average 30 minutes, uh, only in locations in neighborhoods that are you know, safe, residential, family-like neighborhoods, and with easy transportation links. So there's always a subway located close by from, from the house. And then this is the location of our um, shared student house, 25 minutes to school. And these are the location of the other houses uh, in very popular neighborhoods such as downtown, Williamsburg or Bushwick, very up and coming neighborhoods. Um, then I'll move on to activities. Um, so, of course, we have an activity program for our students. Um, this is completely optional, so the students can decide to attend the activities they want. They can just sign up at school for the activities that interest them. Um, we always have some activities related to Brooklyn, as we really want the students to discover um, Brooklyn as a, as a, as a neighbourhood and out of uh, the beaten track as well. So not just all the famous sites in Manhattan, but also places that are not as famous that are, but are very interesting. For example, the Bushwick graffiti tour um, in, in Brooklyn, uh, the Dumbo neighborhood, which is very popular as well. We also do um, BSL happy hours, BSL lunches, uh, sports games, Broadway shows, um, museums, walking tours in uh, many uh, places of interest in, in Brooklyn and Manhattan. We have about three or four activities per week um, and this is a very uh, strong point of the school as well because we are a small school where everybody knows each other Then there is a, a very good relationship between all the students and they really enjoy going on the, on the activities together. Um, this is a summary on how BSL is different from other schools to help you when talking with students and to help you differentiate BSL from other language schools. So obviously the area, so we are the only school located in Brooklyn, so we have a very unique location. Uh, only one subway stop from Manhattan, 10 minutes by subway, and plenty of new, uh, very trendy neighborhoods to discover. Um, the school also is very different. We are a boutique school, independent, 
uh, with a family atmosphere where everybody knows each other and where we can give personal attention to every student. We have amazing views of uh, Manhattan and Brooklyn, uh, an older average age of 34 years old and small class sizes. And in terms of accommodation as well, uh, the fact that we recruit all the, the accommodation ourselves means that we have a better guarantee of quality uh, in to where we place our students. And obviously the fact that we're in Brooklyn means we can have accommodation closer to school. Um, this is it. There's a little bit of uh, feedback here for you. Um, I hope the presentation was complete. Do you have any questions at all for me?